Welcome everyone to another video from the Garish Grackle. Today I'm going to be doing psychology and learning. Before I move forward, the artist I use in this video is found on Deviant Art. Um, he is DVK the artist, and you can find his profile in the description box below. Classical conditioning, Pavlov's classical experiments. Nobel Prize winner Ivan Pavlov, who lived from 1849 to 1936, was a Russian physiologist who came across the features of conditioning whilst examining the digestive system of a dog. It was by chance that he further uncovered an aspect of behavior that was to concretize an entire new movement within the realm of psychology. The secret to behavior that he uncovered was an aspect of learning which later became known as conditioning. The case study was an investigation that better became known as Pavlov's dog. The investigation proceeded with Pavlov's recording the unconditional response, or the UCR, of his dog salivating at the arrival of food. The crux lay in the fact that whenever food was brought, Pavlov would ring a bell to notify the dog of the food's arrival. The food was the unconditional stimulus, or US UCS. Pavlov discovered that when the bell was rung without the food, the dog would still salivate. This is what is known as the conditioned response, or CR. This is the foundation of classical conditioning. Yet how is this translated to the study of behavior, and even more so within the broader realm of psychology? The ability to condition one to an association between an unrelated item and incorporating it to produce certain behavior is characteristic of learning, which distinguishes higher reasoning over above instinctual, innate responses. This investigation was then taken across the Atlantic to American psychologist John B. Watson, who lived from 1878 to 1958, who is regarded today as the father of behaviorism. Behaviorism is a branch of psychology in which the principles lay the foundation of observable external behavior. In this, it can be regarded as a science, with each outcome respected as an empirical evidence. From these burgeoning hypotheses, rapidly taking hold of the psychological community and applied to classical conditioning in people, an attempt to better understand the fundamental processes to classical conditioning, Pavlov deciphered six important conditioning processes, reinforcement, response, acquisition, extinction, spontaneous recovery, generalization, and discrimination. Reinforcement. This is either the deliberate presentation or natural occurrence of the unconditional stimulus, or the UCS, combined with the conditional stimulus, CS. 
the quality of the reinforcement increases or maintains the response strength of the conditioned response, CR. Repeated simultaneous representation of the CS and UCS therefore lead to reinforcements of the CR. Response acquisition. This is the process of acquiring new responses. In order for this to take place, a few circumstances must be met before the response can be learned. Repetition of the CS and immediate representation of the UCS guarantee the learning of the response. Added, the CS has to be significant to the individual and process as we are bombarded by random stimuli every day. Extinction. The process of extinction is when the CS is no longer paired with the UCS to produce the desired response, CR. Spontaneous recovery. Once the CS is reintroduced, the CR recovers, although not as strong as previously. Generalization occurs when the conditioned response is generated by different stimuli. Discrimination. This is the opposite to generalization, whereby we learn by associating only a specific stimulus and cancel out all of the other or similar, similar stimuli. All right, that's it for me. I just want to thank you all for listening and being with me. I hope you enjoyed this and many, many blessings for the rest of the week. This Garish Grackle is an ever-developing project of mine and I get on it the moment I have a chance. I have many plans for this year and I, I hope you enjoy this. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>